the last stretch of our drive. We're going home to Florida today. Um, we woke up at, I woke up around 5.30 to come out. And then by the time I got back up to the hotel room, Candy was already awake getting ready. I think we were just so ready to get out of Nashville. We're like, let's get the heck out of here. I would say that like, we would have probably have liked it better if it wasn't so crowded. Yeah. Um, I think that was the main thing that really brought us down about Nashville is like, it's so packed, you can't do anything. Unless if you want to be in line for hours, it would be like shoulder to shoulder to people. There were bachelor parties like left and right. It was crazy. So there's like party buses going around town, like people screaming like during the day. And it was almost like if you're not here for a bachelor or bachelor party, what are you doing here? Yeah, that's what it really seemed like. Um, so yeah, it was um, not what we expected. We didn't realize it was such a huge party town. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I knew somewhat that it was a party town, but not that big of a party town. Yeah, it was just chaotic. I couldn't believe the crowds that were there. Um, and I know it is Labor Day weekend, so there's definitely more people, but that amount yeah. was insane. We love the music, because uh, we heard, as you're walking down Honky Tonk Highway, you know, every bar plays uh, live music, and every single one that we heard was really great. We try to enjoy as much as we could, um, and being safe. Like, I don't know if we're being super uptight or not, but I just felt like everybody was like way too lax about this whole thing. So then, we went to Co Uncommon James, because I love Uncommon James jewelry, because it's not only because it's designed by Kristen Cavallari, because I'm a total fangirl of hers, but I do actually love her jewelry. I mean, I'm not really the type that buys a lot of jewelry in the first place, but I like hers because she makes like these dainty type of jewelry. And they're good quality. Like I've had her necklace that I bought a couple years ago and I've been wearing it um, ever since, almost every day. So yeah, when we got in, we were pretty happy. Candy and I were kind of getting our spirits lifted up. <laughs> So we're feeling a little bit better about Nashville. We're like, oh yeah, Uncommon James is great. And we're like trying out her sunglasses. Yeah, and we never really shop on vacation either. No, we're not shoppers either. Yeah, we're not really like shoppers on vacation. Yeah. Or on trips. Yeah, on vacation we're always like, ugh, I want to shop. But yeah, this Uncommon James, there's something about Uncommon James that we really loved. Um, so yeah, I bought some jewelry there. And then after that, Kenny was like, you know what? Let's keep on going. Let's like explore Nashville a little bit more. Maybe we, like, you know, it's not as bad as we think it is. <laughs> so we went to 12 South, which is an area where they have um, like trendy coffee cafes and little, little dessert shops and uh, boutique shops as well. And they had Reese Witherspoon store and Draper James there too. I didn't know what it was, but Candy knew what it was. They're also well known for murals wall mural so I wanted to find the one that said like it wasn't I love Nashville I believe in Nashville it's what it is. I would have never remembered that so they have a, the iconic I believe in Nashville mural there and um, and they have several other ones as you're walking through so we took some pictures there we're having fun but uh, it was getting really hot so then we went into a dessert shop to get some cookies because I love desserts and um, the cookies are great, but the server there was really rude. Uh, it was almost like she didn't want us there. Yeah. <laughs> so again, that brought us down. And we're like, okay, what are we going to do next? And we decided to check the pedestrian bridge that John, I don't remember, it's like such a long name, John S. Bridge, but it's like uh, one of the longest bridges in the world. Pedestrian bridges in the world, sorry. So we drove by it and we saw it, but we couldn't really find any like parking around there. So then we decided to go to Pinewood Social, which was uh, not far down from the bridge. And of course, we couldn't get in because like, oh, we're so sorry. It's like a two hour wait. <laughs> okay. So then we were pretty much done. I feel like we missed something because everybody says they love Nashville but we just didn't feel the same way. So yeah, out of all the places that we went to on this road trip, Nashville is probably our least favorite. I know, it's kind of a bummer because it was our last trip too, yeah. like our last stop, so I kind of wanted to end it with like a, yeah, what a great road trip, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, it was still a great road trip, 
And I mean, I'm, I'm glad I stopped by to check it out at least, just to say that it's not for me. But at the same time, like I wish we would have spent more time in either another national park or a little bit more time in Capitol Reef or a little bit more time with our relatives in Nebraska. So this is the last thing of our trip and also the longest drive we'll be doing out of the entire trip. Um, I think the longest we've done was like eight and a half hours and that was the drive to uh, two days ago. Yeah, I mean we initially had plans to stop in Atlanta, stay the night there and then go home to Tampa, but we kind of came to a consensus that it was probably better to skip Atlanta because there was really nothing there that we wanted to do. Um, yeah, I, we've been to Atlanta several times, years before, and I just felt like there was nothing we really that stood out to us that we really wanted to do there again. So we, we kind of discussed it and I was like, you know what, you just want to do like that straight drive, like 10 hours, and we're both like, yes. <laughs> so that kind of proved that we didn't need to stop in Atlanta. And plus, it would have just been an overnight stay anyway. It yeah. wouldn't have done much. How so. much, how long would it have been to Atlanta? Like six hours from here? No, I think it's like four hours. Oh, it's only four hours. Yeah, four and, and a half, something like that. And then from Atlanta to Tampa is what, six? Well, from Nashville to Atlanta, yeah, it's like three and a half hours. It's super close. And then from Atlanta to Tampa, um, I think it was like seven hours, maybe like eight hours too. Six. So a little over six hours from Atlanta to Tampa. This will be a test to see if I could do like a 10 hour drive too. I mean, I know I'm not doing that all 10 hour drive, but I'm thinking if I go on a road trip again solo, I'm gonna try to do like 10 hours a day and see how it goes. All right, well, Candy, thanks for doing the first part of the drive. Yeah, I'm gonna start listening to my podcast now. <laughs> yeah. It always helps make the time pass pretty fast. Yeah. Podcasts are awesome. What are some good ones you've been listening to? Um, well, I did, on the first part of our trip, I listened to Nice White Parents. That was good. That helped kill the time. Now I'm listening to Crystal Recommended, um, Nixium, Escaping Nixium. What is that? Nixium or Nixium? Nixium. Yeah. Nixium. So I just started listening to that and yeah, I'm already kind of a little bit hooked. So I think I'm going to start listening to that now. she was sleeping though there was a lot of hills that I had to go through lots of mountains through uh, upper or lower Tennessee and upper Georgia so it's a lot of uh, concentration for me to like go through these curves and um, through the mountains but it was very pretty there are lots of exits though along the way and I see a lot of Zaxby's so I'm kind of like craving Zaxby's now I hope I see one coming up I've never had Zaxby's oh it's like um think like what it compares to. I mean it's chicken, right? Yeah, it's chicken. Yeah. yeah, so I like their crinkly fries too. Okay, so I did buy a Zaxby's exit at 290, but I go for a mile away. yeah, but I think it's a little bit further down. It's not like right off the exit. So to Walmart so you can get gas here if you need. It's 182. The cheapest we've seen so far on this road trip. Maybe. Stop. So those drive throughs are open, so I don't think they're open, like... It's dining room closed. Oh, it does say that. drive through open only. Oh, right here. Okay. Check that. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much.
about four and a half hours away from Florida now. I feel like it's taken forever because we hit a little bit of traffic and then we hit an area where there was an accident. So that set us back, I want to say at least 40 minutes. And then another 30 minutes because I wanted Zaxby's and that happened to be like two miles off the exit. And then that took some time to go through the drive through. Yeah. But looking back now, if you are a fan of Chick fil A over Zaxby's, just skip Zaxby's because there's a ton of Chick fil A's, like almost yeah, every exit is. in Georgia. Because that's, I think that's, I'm pretty sure that's where um, Chick fil A is from. They're, they started it um, in Georgia, just kind of like. Um, <laughs> When you go to Texas, you'll see uh, Waterburger everywhere because they're from water, they're from Texas. So, yeah, if we had known, I think that there was gonna start to be like a, just a trail of Chick Fil A's on our way, we probably would have skipped Zaxby's. Yeah, um, and now I have over eight because we had we also stopped by a Chick Fil A three hours later. Yeah, just, yeah. And I wasn't even that hungry, but I was like, well, it's Chick Fil A though. I should get another sandwich. Well, yeah, I only I had I. I ate some Zaxby's and it was good. It's just it was I didn't have a whole lot and I was getting hungry again, so that's why I was like, I'm just gonna stop my Chick Fil A. <laughs> so, anyways. Um, so yeah, so that's like probably another 20 minutes <laughs> set us back to. Yeah. Um, but you know that's like part of a road trip. You know, part of a long journey because it's like what 10, 11 hours, right? So of course you're gonna get hungry and stop by some places. So, you yeah. know. We already calculated all that, but didn't calculate the traffic, the, traffic, the yes. accident. Yeah. So that did set us back some. more than nine and a half hours it wasn't that bad since we switched like back and oh, forth oh yeah, yeah yeah no today's trip was or today's road trip was like pretty good not I as bad as i thought it was yeah. going to be uh, besides the rain though the occasional rain kind of sucked yeah. <laughs> I was, but i was talking about like the whole trip like oh, our whole, the whole road trip. trip yeah i enjoyed it yeah i think i enjoyed the beginning more than the ending like the national parks just you can't beat those yeah. i feel like I just enjoy that more than cities, I guess. <laughs> Me too. It was a lot of fun. Um, even the cities that we didn't really enjoy too much, it was like... Oh, it well. wasn't horrible, it yeah. was just more like, eh. <laughs> but we know for sure now that we don't like big cities, and uh, I'd much rather stick to little towns yes. or national parks. Yes. Like, that's more our thing, I think, you know, big cities, we're just not big fans of anymore like we used to be I feel like so yeah it was a great road trip I'm glad we got to do this together and with Kuma I know Kuma is such a trooper she is she is a trooper for real sometimes I forget she's back there <laughs> I know sometimes I get scared I'm like did I put Kuma back in the car because <laughs> she's so quiet I know she's so darn quiet and if you've been following us along on this whole journey, thank you for following us along. I hope it gave you some ideas on where you can visit and some tips on where to stop. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you wanna watch more of our videos, please subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.